In Xanadu did Kublai Khan a stately pleasure dome decree, where off the sacred river ran through caverns measureless to man, down to a sunless sea. So twice five miles of fertile ground with walls and towers were girdled round, and there were gardens bright with sinuous rills, where blossomed many an incense-bearing tree, and here were forests ancient as the hills, enfolding sunny spots of greenery. But, oh, that deep romantic chasm which slanted down the green hill, athwart a cedar cover. A savage place, a holy and enchanted as air beneath a waning moon, was haunted by women wailing for a demon lover. And from this chasm, with ceaseless turmoil seething, as if this earth was in fast, thick pants were breathing, a mighty mountain momentarily was forced, amid whose swift, half-intermitted bursts, huge fragments, vaulted like rebounding hail, or shafty green beneath a thresher's flail. And mid these dancing rocks at once and ever it flung up momently the sacred river. Five miles meandering with a mazy motion through woods and dale, the sacred river ran, then reached the caverns measureless to man, and sunk in tumults where lifeless ocean. And amid this tumult, Kubla heard from far ancestral voices prophesying war. The shadow of the dome of pleasure floated midway on the waves, where it was heard the mingled measure from the fountain and the caves. It was a miracle of rare device. A sunny pleasure dome with caves of ice. A damsel with a dulcimer, in a vision once I saw. It was an obsidian maid, and on her dulcimer she played, singing of Mount Abura. Could I revive within me her symphony and song to such a deep delight twould twin me? That with music long and loud I would build that dome in air, that sunny dome, those caves of ice. And all who heard should see them here. And all should cry, Beware, beware! His flashing eyes, his floating hair, Weaved a circle around him thrice, And closed her eyes with a holy dread, For he on honeydew hath fed, And drunk the milk of paradise.